Lebo M was introduced to us by Hans Zimmer, who did the score for the movie and won an Oscar for it, and of course is terribly famous and a lovely guy. <laughs> we wanted Hans because we had heard um, a soundtrack to a film he had made called Power of One, and on about a kid in boxing in South Africa. And on the sound, uh, cast, a soundtrack as a movie, on the soundtrack of the movie, <laughs> there was, um, this beautiful African choir and this sound, and that was Lebo. And so we asked Hans who did that, can we get him? Hans couldn't find him. Hans was recording the demo of Circle of Life and by a total fluke, Lebo came to visit. And Lebo had, you know, was just kind of hanging around LA. He reconnected with Lebo. And so Lebo um, did, wrote that chant, the Nansengonya, and all, the, all that choral vocal in that and, and just did it on the demo with a demo singer named Carmen Twilly, and everyone in America who grew up with it, and in England heard that, and then every single language, 32 of them, that it was translated into around the world, the movie, no matter where you saw it, you always heard Lebo as the sun came up. Mm. And so what he infused the, the film with, Julie wanted more of, he, Hans, and Mark Mancina, a third composer on the show, um, created this album, Rhythm of the Pride Lands, music inspired by the film, cut from the film, and just some other stuff. And that's really what became the juice of it. Now you needed South Africans to sing it. Mm -hmm. And the power of, that, of this, the South African choral style was what first influenced it. We just wanted it to sound like that. And then, and don't forget, this was also during when Paul Simon was working mm -hmm. with Ladysmith Black Mombazo. In Graceland and, album. In Graceland. And then we realized it wasn't just the sound. And I think so often we say the sound of South Africa, but it is the spirit and the soul of South Africa. And that's what happened when these glorious South African company members joined us in the original cast. And we got a special dispensation from Actors' Equity to have them. But they said, you will have to replace them. You can't keep them. Meaning you'd have to replace them with American actors American because actors. of Because we're very restrictive mm. in America about who gets to perform on our stages. It seems a little kooky anyway. But we had to do a great deal of petitioning and there was a great deal of activity um, within our community so that we could always keep a contingent of South Africans. So it's six South Africans in the Broadway show, but sometimes like in Hamburg, we can have you know, 14, 15, up to 20 different members from South Africa and they often rotate around the world. Mm -hmm. 